On March 26, 2022, Illinois police officers responded to a report of a suspicious person sleeping outside of a business. When they arrived, the police made contact with the suspect and tried to assist, but his strange behavior escalated into chaos. You can't make this stuff up. Hello? Ma'am? Hey! Ma'am? Are you okay? What's going on? What's going on? You okay? Okay. Alright, so the business is trying to open up and they, they don't want you sitting here. Are you okay? What's going on? What's your name? Jenny? Danny. Why are you sleeping out here? Are you on something? No? Danny, what's your date of birth? July what? 29. What's the year? 91. So is your name Danielle? What was that? Danielle. Do you have a middle name? What was that? Can you go outside? Can you go inside? Uh, yeah, we can stand right here and, while we figure this out, but I don't think they want you to sleep inside. But we can just step in the door if you'd like for a second. What's going on? You want to step in here so it's a little warmer and we can talk right here? Right here? We can step into the vestibule. While we figure out what to do? Huh? You want ice cream? Thought you were cold. Danielle, what's your last name? What was that? I can't hear you. You're not on anything? Okay, is it, why are you like grunting and squeaking and you can't say your name and you want ice cream but it's 35 degrees out but you're cold and want to go inside but you won't get up to walk 10 feet to the door so we can go inside? Well, I remembered it. So do you want to go inside and so we can all be warm and we can grunt and squeak in there instead of here? Yeah, probably. Um, do you think um, that you need an ambulance? The suspect's behavior is strange, so the officers try to assess the situation and determine if there may be a need to contact emergency services. Because right now, you know, the way you're acting, I don't feel too confident that if we leave that you're going to be okay and you're going to be able to care for yourself. All right, well, if you don't want to talk to us, you can't stay here, so why don't you grab your uh, bag and move on, because we got called here because they don't want you here. So, can you get your stuff and leave? Are you capable of doing that? It seems to the officers that the suspect, identified as Daniel Farrell, is capable of understanding them, but could intentionally be making the interaction more difficult. It's snowing now. Why are you grunting? Does something hurt? Well, it's just kind of unusual. So, can you get your stuff and leave, since they don't want you here? And you don't want to talk to us? Or do you need an ambulance? Is this your bag? No, it's an 
not your bag? Yes, no. Okay, cool. Is it not your phone on the side of the bag? Possible. Okay, so, so you're, you're clearly capable of understanding what we're saying and answering questions. So can you leave? If you don't want to have any contact with us, the best way to do that is to leave. Because... Okay, well then gather your belongings and leave because they don't want you here. We didn't know it was your stuff. You didn't answer yeah. yes or no. And we asked, is it yours? Huh? He said, why do you have an Irish accent when you're Asian? I think you're wrong on all counts. But... Can you, can you read my last name? The suspect continues to be uncooperative and begins to show signs of defiance. Okay, if you... Do you need an ambulance? What do you think? Okay. I think you probably need one. Yeah. Do you know what day it is? Yeah. No, no, no. Okay. Do you know where you are? Correct. Well, I'm, it's not like an existential question. I'm saying, like, do you physically know where you are located on planet Earth? I do, yes. So the answer to that is no. Yeah, I guess we'll get it. <laughs> All right. They, they don't want you inside the business. Can you unlock it? Just unlock the door, guy. Lock the door. We can't get inside. The suspect escalates the situation and the officers proceed to apprehend him. Hey, stop. Hey, relax. I know. Stop. Get on the ground. The officers searched the suspect's bag and found a container with a white rock-like substance and loose pills. Daniel was taken to a local hospital and later arrested. He was charged with possession of methamphetamine, resisting or obstructing a peace officer, possession of drug paraphernalia, disorderly conduct, and assault. What do you think of this arrest and the charges? Do they fit the crime? Be sure to comment your thoughts, hit the like button, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching today's video, and we'll see you in the next one.